What's going on YouTube? It's your friend Jess and happy Pride Month! Today it's gonna be an adventure to say the least. That's right, it is June 2018. It is the month of gay pride for the world. And I'm super, super excited to be trying out this new product today. You guys know I'm obsessed, probably a little too much obsessed, like fangirl obsessed, with Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Obsessed. <laughs> Not only do I have every eyeshadow palette he's come out with, but I have every one of the miniature lipstick collection bundles. Yeah, first he came out with the nude collection and then he came out with the mini reds and pink collection. I love all of these. These are my primary lip go-tos. Pretty much every day I'm wearing a lip, it's gonna be a Jeffree Star liquid. I love the formula. I love that they don't budge. The colors are always super pigmented and they're also eye safe. So you can use them as an eyeliner. If you wanna get wacky and do like some blue eyebrows, why not just do it? So when I saw him tease a new mini velour liquid lipstick collection for gay pride month, I got super excited. You guys know I love to play with fun colors and things like that. So when I saw this coming out, I, I literally was drooling and was like, when, what's the date? It's gotta be June 1st, let me, let me stalk this. So while I was in California, we were walking around in Calabasas. And of course the time I'm in Calabasas, he's off in Finland somewhere, so whatever, Jeffrey. But that's when this box dropped. So I was in California stalking my cell phone, like, oh, I gotta get it in my cart, get it in my cart, get it in my cart. So I did, and I was so hyped and so excited about it that um, I may have ordered two of them. <laughs> So we're gonna save the second one of these for a giveaway for when we hit 500 subscribers, which we are hoping happens before the end of the year. And then one of you guys will get this awesome thing. And I also have some other things for future giveaways. Giveaways. And I also have some other things for future giveaways. So make sure that you guys stay tuned. Make sure you stay subscribed. Make sure you stay connected. And let's move it on and put some wacky colors on my face. Oh. So normally you guys, we get this super cute neon pink, very Jeffree Star colored tissue paper. But as this is a gay pride rainbow collection, we have this amazing rainbow Jeffree Star logo tissue paper. I love it. I also love this little orange sticker that's on here. If you guys haven't seen, there's a new summer collection coming out for him on June 16th. Yes, your girl will be stalking her computer to order that eyeshadow palette as well. Let's go ahead and rip into it so you guys can see this packaging and why I was so amped, amped to order this. Are the lights blinking behind me? Is that happening? No. Here she is in all of her beautiful, colorful, butterfly, rainbow, unicorn, magical glory. The new Jeffree Star Cosmetics Mini Velour Liquid Lipstick Collection in rainbow. <sighs> Are we calling it rainbow? This is all about equality, you guys. I love that message. You guys know I love all people, everybody. I don't care who you are, what you look like, what you're all about. If you're cool and we jive, then we're gonna be best friends. I have a ton of friends in the LGBTQI community. It's a lot of letters, I know guys, but they're important letters, they're important letters. So I really, really wanted to support this and I also, I mean really more for me, just wanted some fun colors to play around with and put on my mouth, so. So I'm sure you guys are wondering, Jess, is it really a rainbow of lipsticks inside there? Is there like a green and a blue and a purple? Girl. You bet your butt that there's a little bit of everything in here. So we have the colors Diva, Red Rum, which I already own from the Red Collection, but that's fine. Flamethrower, Queen Bee, Equality, Breakfast at Tiffany's, Blue Velvet, and I'm Royalty. Oh, so excited to try these out. We have the pink, red, orange, yellow, green, light blue, dark blue and purple. So it's that very lovely Roy G. Biv sort of vibe. I love the packaging as you guys know. Some of his lipsticks are scented. I have no idea if any of these are, but we're gonna dive in and find out today. Now, as usual, I'm gonna be going just across the spectrum from left to right here. Even though I'm gonna probably regret it because we have some colors mixed in that are gonna be a little lighter than the color next to it, but we're gonna have a good time with it anyway. Let's get Kragalakin and start with Diva. Diva is a very hot pink little number. This looks very similar to his color Prom Night, and I think there's, ooh, ooh, there's shimmer and shine in here, you guys. I see it, I see some glitter, yes. So this looks very much like Prom Night mixed with like a Barbie pink and then some gold glitter thrown in there. So let's go ahead and get this on my lips and see what we think about it. Oh, that's a nice big old chunk that came out of there. We're just gonna wipe that off. 
Okay. All right, guys, first things first, there is no smell to this whatsoever. And I have to say that this particular color is very streaky. I don't know if it has anything to do with the glitter that's inside, but I'm sure you guys can tell, especially in the center of my upper lip here, right here, right there. Very, very streaky. So I feel like this requires a two dip application. Let's go ahead and put a second coat on there and see what we think after that. Definitely requires two coats for this color, you guys. I do really like it. It's very hot pink. You guys know I have a thing for hot pink lip. I don't know why. Pink is like not even one of my favorite colors, but I love how it looks on me. So this mixed with, I have just a very, I was gonna say neutral, girl. What is neutral about this eye look, hello? The fact that it's all like black, white, gray, silver, I felt like I can pull off any color lip with that. So I love the contrast between the two and I think it looks super cute. So again, two dip application, a little bit streaky, but overall I do like the color. Did I forget to bring up the makeup wipes? Oh, this is a tragedy. Crisis averted. All right, you guys, that is one color down. We still have several more here to try. I'm gonna go ahead, just to save my lips from death today, I'm gonna go ahead and insert my clip from my Jeffree Star review of the red and pink bundles to show you guys what red rum looks like. Roll the footage. I can already tell that I like how this looks and I can already tell I'm gonna like how it looks on me. She said if she applied it and it looked awful. Oh, I knew I would like this one you guys, and I do. I do, I do, I do, I like red rum too. Did you know that it's murdered spelled backwards? Ooh. This is definitely the type of red that I would normally go for. I might even go for something a little darker than this, but I am also loving how this looks. I even like how this looks kind of with my eye look today. I feel like they balance each other out quite nicely. And again, I don't know. I just, there's lipstick like all over my face. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me. Am I just being overly confident today? Am I in a good mood? I don't know, but I am loving all of these colors so far. Hope y'all enjoyed that. I'm gonna make sure to also link those videos down below in the description. I will put a card up for it. Oh, I don't know, like right here as well. So if you wanna click on that for the reds and pinks, go for it and then that'll also take you to the nudes. So in enjoy that. But I appreciate you guys letting me get away with that so I'm not destroying my lips today. So now I only have to try on seven instead of eight. Like it's that big of a difference. <laughs> Anyway, you guys, next up we have this color here called Flamethrower. Very, very orange. I am really excited about this. Part of me wants this to look amazing because I love the color orange and I feel like for summertime, this will really give you that creamy, dreamsicle, summer pop kind of look. This vibe with some gold everywhere and some yellow, oh, I'd be totally feeling that. No smell once again. It's okay, maybe one of them will be scented out of this whole bundle. Let's go ahead and try on a flamethrower. Oh, <laughs> let's keep going. All right guys, here is flamethrower on the lips. Oh my goodness. I, I don't know. When I look in the mirror, I'm like, oh. Caution on your lips, this is road cone orange, but I am kind of loving it, I'm not even. This is again, you guys, one of those things where you don't know if it really looks good on you or not. You're kind of feeling yourself, but in the same token, your self-esteem is at the point where you're like, girl, that is not gonna look good on you. You cannot pull it off, but I don't know. This is one of those colors that I wanna wear anyway, just to have fun. And I feel like this will be a really cool conversation starter. People will be like, girl, where'd you get that orange lipstick? And then it'll kind of go from there. And makeup is fun. Makeup is conversational. So it's okay that it might look a little cray cray. I kind of like it. Orange, you glad I tried it on? <laughs> so sorry. Take a seat, right over there, back in the package, stay elite. It's gonna be bare and I'm unaware of just how we got into this mess. Colors aggressive. Side comment. Usually Jeffree Star's liquid lipsticks are very easy to take off. I am having a struggle with flamethrower hair. Got all the orange, you guys see what I'm saying? And yeah, I, I know it's taking all my foundation off too, girl. I'm fully aware. But it's worth it so that you guys can see what the tea is on this collection. We YouTubers suffer for you guys. I think secretly we all kind of like it a little bit. <laughs> Moving on you guys to another color I'm very, very excited to try out. We have this bright yellow called Queen Bee. This is a very sunny kind of yellow. It has more paleness in it than like a taxi cab yellow would have. Again, you guys, these are eye safe. So if it's not something you feel like you can use on your lips, imagine pulling off this with like 
an insane yellow wing liner hello on like some sunset look oh so feeling it or like a black eyeshadow with this very bumblebee very hufflepuff if i may super excited this i think has no smell when you use a scented wipe it's kind of hard sometimes the scent from the wipe gets in and you're like is that is that this smelling like coconut girl no it's it's the face wipes that you're using to wipe off all this crazy lipstick let's go ahead and put on queen bee right off the bat you guys Jeffrey, you know I love you, girl, but this one is really streaky, too. You guys can definitely see with one application what that looks like. So I went in for a second dip. I'm going to see if I can fix this, make it like super bright yellow pigmented. Not that I dislike the color. I look very alien. I'm kind of digging that right now. But again, you guys, very, very streaky. So let's go ahead and put on a second dip and see what we get after that. I don't know, you guys. You see what I'm dealing with here? As soon as you put it on, it like, I don't know, like budges, moves away, I can't. You guys, I just can't with Queen Bee. I was so excited for this color. And I mean, it doesn't look, no, it does. It looks horrible. It doesn't even, like you try to blend it to, oh. Is that the trick? No. Mm -mm. You try to blend it together and every time you swipe, it just moves more product out of the way, so. This one is a bust for me, you guys. It's like the first official Jeffree Star liquid lip letdown for me. And look, I understand it is really, really hard to make colors like this into a liquid lipstick. So definitely, you get a big applause for trying, Jeffrey. A big applause. I give you an applause, applause, applause. I give you an applause, applause, give you an applause, applause. Love the way that you try to make these colors for me. Applause, applause, applause. But this one's just a no-go for me. All right, you guys, that leaves us with four colors down, four more to go. I am really excited about these four, but now I'm really hesitant because, especially with like the green and the light blue, I'm wondering if they are gonna be just as streaky as, you know, maybe Diva and Queen Bee were. But fingers crossed, let's hope that these ones work out for the best. So the next color we're going for is a quality. It is this beautiful green color. If you guys have been watching me for a minute, you know that green is my absolute favorite color. I look amazing in green. I'm a Taurus. I'm an earth sign. Hello. It all just kind of comes together for me. But green on the lips. Let's give that a whirl. Just by pulling the doe foot out, I can already tell that the green is going to be better. The yellow was a lot thicker and goopier, so I feel like this is not going to be streaky, but that could just be my brain trying to amp myself up for trying this on. Let's apply. Oh. All right, Equality, so I was not sure about you in the beginning, but is anybody else living for this color? I don't know why. Oh, guys, I just... This one also was a little bit streaky. Not nearly as much as Queen Bee, not nearly as much as Diva. I only had to apply a little bit more in the center of the bottom of my lip, but I don't know. I am feeling myself. I am feeling like witchy frog swamp princess glam queen glamazon. I don't even know. I'm feeling a lot of different things in this color. This is this might be the color I decide to rock all day today. And I'm going to my dad, so dad get ready. Cause this is arriving. I love it. Love, love, love. Again, maybe all the things dropping. Again, maybe a little bit biased as green is my favorite color, but I never saw my, I never thought I would see myself in a green lipstick before and I just, I love it. That's all there is to that. And so far this is definitely, mm, this is definitely one of the easier ones to just go ahead and yeah, wipe right off. You guys see how easy that is. So I appreciate equality, not only as a concept, but as a liquid lipstick. Thank you, Jeffrey. All right, you guys, we have three colors left. We have a light blue, an indigo, and a violet. So there's the biv at the end of the rainbow. <laughs> Next one up is this beautiful color, Breakfast at Tiffany's. Now this is something, you guys, that even if I don't decide that this is going to be a good lipstick, 
I definitely want to rock this, you know, as a wing liner in my waterline, maybe even use it as like an eyeshadow base. I'm just overly excited about this color, especially for summertime. And something about it also screams spring with the robin egg blue. And I feel like you can also pull off winter. Hello, this is an all season color. Very excited. Let's go ahead and try out breakfast at Tiffany's. But I said, what about breakfast at Tiffany's? Oh, this one smells fantastic, like a root beer float. Thank you, Jeffrey. This one did come out a little bit goopier, like the yellow, so I am concerned, but she said, I think I remember the film, and as I recall, I think we both kind of liked it, and I said, well, that's the one thing we've got. Let's try it on. <laughs> Wow, so here's what I love about makeup, you guys. This is a color I never, never, okay, would have bought on its own to try out for myself, but getting it in this collection allows me to give it a whirl, and it looks a little nutty, but I'm kind of loving this too. I wanna rock this with like a really bold yellow statement kind of eye, do something super tropical, wear an all black dress and just rock it out. This is magical to me. I do think I will use it more on my eyes than on my lips, but I'm kind of living for it on the lips too. I don't know. You guys, I don't know if it's just me. Am I feeling like extra sassy today? Does this look good to you? I don't know what to think about it. I just kind of love it and I'm kind of scared by it all at the same time. So y'all let me know what you think about breakfast at Tiffany's. All right, you guys, sadly, there are only two more colors to go. We have the indigo color and the violet color. Next up, we have blue velvet. Now, if you guys have never seen the movie Blue Velvet, Super important to gay culture, so I can see why he named it Blue Velvet. Speaking of colors and velvet, does anybody remember that 90s song, Black Velvet? I loved that. It was on the radio like all the time when I was growing up, and I used to rock out to that song with my mom in the car. We'd both be screaming it out loud. It, amazing. And I don't know, that's just giving me this. It's giving me good memories just thinking about that. So I already appreciate that about this color. This one also has the root beer float smell. Thank you very much. Exciting. We have two colors that smell good. Love, love, love. Black velvet in that little boy smile. Black velvet in that so southern sky. A new religion that'll bring y'all to your knees. Black velvet, if you please. <laughs> Let's try on blue velvet. This one's very streaky too, you guys. So I think when we're trying to make any of these kind of really super pigmented colors, I'm gonna see if you guys can see. A lot of goop comes out. You see what I'm saying in the doe foot? Normally there's not this much goop in there. So I don't know if the formula is just a little bit different to try to get that pigmentation out, but not the best formula of his that I've had. So this one's another double dip. And this is blue velvet after a double dip. I also, it's streaky. It smells good, but I'm also not hating it. I really, really thought you guys, wow, this video is gonna be crazy. You're putting on all these wacky colors. It's gonna be entertaining to say the least, but <laughs> I feel like I'm really discovering something about myself and lipstick. I know this sounds weird that it's all like happening now after years of playing with makeup and I've done fun colors on my lips before, but maybe the way I have it paired with the outfit and the eyes, I don't know. I'm just really digging how all these colors are coming out on me. It looks really fun, maybe because it's summer. I don't know, you guys, there must be reasons, but this is like kind of shaking me to my core. I'm really loving all the fun and wacky colors, and I've always looked at myself as more of a natural, whatever type of makeup. But lately I've been really trying to play more and more and get a little bit crazier going into this kind of Hunger Games-esque sort of mentality. You know, this is gonna be our world in a few years, you guys. Non-net neutrality is happening and I am devastated. If you guys don't know what net neutrality is, just look it up. If you still have an opportunity to reach out to your local government to try to get them to not, not put us through this, please do so. I don't know about you guys, but I already pay enough for my internet. I don't need any extra charges added onto that. I don't wanna have to pay extra just to be able to post YouTube videos for you guys. I think that is dumb, so. That's it, that's my little political rant, and so appropriate that it goes with the month of equality, I guess. But anyway, you guys, Blue Velvet, again, a little streaky, the smell is nice, and overall, I like how it looks once it's dried down and applied, so, Blue Velvet for the win, too. Eh, you guys don't even understand. 
Maybe some of you do. For those of you out there who also make YouTube videos where you're testing out a bunch of different lip products, uh, let's, let's, let's have a support group for how your lips feel after several of them because it is real. It is serious. Also, can I just say, I am making like the most beautiful makeup wipe today with all these fun lipstick colors on it. Love. All right, you guys, let's put on some foundation again. <laughs> all right, you guys, last but certainly not least is the violet color. I am royalty upside down. I'm royalty. <laughs> I have put purple lipsticks on myself a lot, so this one I feel like I'm not gonna be as shook whether or not I'm gonna like it. I feel like I'm not going to like it, but let's go ahead and give it a whirl anyway. Will I ever be royal, royal? There's no smell to this one. That's all right. We had, what, three that were scented, I said? Two, three, I'll, I'll take it. The red one only had one, and that was watermelon soda, which smelled amazing, and I wear that color all the time. This one is also very goopy, you guys. I mean, look at this amount of goop I just wiped off, so. Oh, hi, landscapers. Thank you for being outside at my neighbor's house. Super appreciate that. Let's just go ahead and put it on and see what happens, you guys. It's the only way to know whether or not we're gonna experience the same thing we've experienced with all the other colors. Up and mountain, and you paint with all the colors of the wind. Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? And you'll never hear the wolf cry to the blue corn moon. Why is this one so streaky too? All right, you guys, so here you have I'm royalty, mm, which you all know I'm not. This one got on my teeth a little. This one was also really streaky, you guys. You saw when I was applying it, you can actually see the product budging around, but I do, once again, really like the color. I don't know what's up with me today. I have not had enough coffee, maybe. I'm not like actually seeing myself. I don't even have my glasses on, obviously, so maybe I actually look like trash and I have no idea. But I'm gonna roll with it and stay confident and say that this looks darn good, too. I really like how the color pops. It looks a lot brighter on the viewfinder than it does in my mirror. I don't know why that is. It looks much darker to me here. Maybe it's all the lighting going on and that's why I have all this sweat. But I also really, really like this. So I, I don't know, you guys. Again, it, this time around, I will say, I had more of an issue with budging, with smudging, with streakiness than any of the other collections that I have, okay? The rest of those usually apply one swipe, one dip, full, full coverage. And the nude bundle, I think all of them are scented, maybe not one, but I think that all of them are pretty much scented. You guys can watch those and, and see if they are or not, but I just, this one was more of a letdown in terms of performance, but in terms of overall look, I love, I absolutely love this collection. Before I end this video, you guys, I'm gonna try to go for a blue ombre type of look with these. I don't know, I'm just kind of feeling it, so let's roll with it and see what we get, okay, thanks. Step one complete. Ooh, I'm dead. I love it. I really love how these ombre together, you guys. I don't know, it just makes it look a little bit more fun. I feel like this is gonna be my final look for the day. I'm just gonna go out like this, rock it out. What's going on, Dad? Give me a hot dog, a hamburger. I don't know what we're having for lunch, but hook it up and I'll put it in my blue mouth. So there you guys have my full on review and try on and thoughts and opinions on the Jeffree Star Mini Velour Liquid Lipstick Equality Collection. Let me know what you guys think down below. Did you have a favorite color? Do you dig this ombre thing? Should I, I also was thinking of doing the orange and yellow. Yes, with the red, like a phoenix rising off of my lips. 100% I'm gonna do that. I would love to throw some glitter on this too, but your girl ain't got time right now. I gotta go to my dad's because I said, don't worry dad, I'm filming and leaving in a half an hour. And it's it's now an hour later, so haha, <laughs> I gots to go. But I hope you guys all enjoyed yourself. Look forward to my new videos that are coming up. I have the new Jeffree Star Summer Collection I'm gonna be getting. I just put up a video doing the Tatcha Primer Review, which I am wearing the Silk Canvas Primer right now. Updates on Snapchat, we'll talk all about that. And I have a couple more that I've already filmed and some that are coming up for summertime and the end of the month. So again, if you guys have any suggestions, stuff you wanna see, I know some of you have asked for tutorials, some of you have asked for more singing, all of that is coming. I promise. Let's have a conversation with each other. All of us together, we're all friends. So let's do it. Let's get this community going because the month of equality and the month of pride is all about community. It's all about everybody coming together. Let's just all be friends, you guys. Let's live with positivity and kindness and let's just be besties. Anyway, you guys, enjoy the rest of your week and I will see all of you beautiful people in the next video.
Bye.